All right, so in this video, I'll show you something. Say you replaced a hard drive on your iMac. And iMac certain models contain a fusion drive, just like this. And it's separated. Um, I'm putting an SSD, which is already fast, but we can make it even more faster by utilizing the built-in fusion drive. It's a 128 gig NV, um, PCI Express um, hard drive. So what we're going to do is we're going to merge them together. Please be aware, any data you have on here, if you have anything, it will be wiped. So what we're going to do, I'll show you from beginning how I got here. So on a Mac, so I'm just going to shut it down. Shut down. Okay. We need to go into recovery or or recovery here if you like. So on a Mac normally you've got the option key. Here on a Windows keyboard it's the Windows key. So in your case option R, in this case command uh, command R in your case and in my case the Windows key. So Windows key and R, in your case command R. While holding press the power button and keep holding until you see a world come up and sometimes the world will not come up for you you may need to do internet recovery which means holding command option R okay it's command option R which will bring you to the same window in fact I'm going to do that because I'm going to reinstall the operating system so here we go I'm going to turn it off command option R load okay so it's loading again now you can either connect your computer via Wi-Fi or use a network cable I'm using a network cable it's much more faster so normally you will choose your Wi-Fi connection but for me it will automatically go on because I've got the cable connected so it should just continue Great. Yeah, the reason why I show you command option R, you may not have a recovery partition and you will not, you'll be stuck. So let this continue. It's downloading of the internet, depending on your internet connection. You'll need to wait. Nearly done. Wonderful. Now it's booting off the RAM.
There we are. So what you want to do is continue at the welcome screen. Okay. Okay, so what you want to do here is at the very top go into sorry it's a very large screen terminal terminal okay so like I said before it will actually wipe everything that's in there so be careful I'll make that really large for you okay there we go So what we type in is disk util reset version. Okay, as you can see, it detected two hard drives. One is the two terabyte, one is the 128 gigabyte. This is non-standard, but okay. Disk zero will be used as the main parser. Disk one will be used as secondary larger device. Okay. Uh, yes. Press the enter, yes. And it's doing its magic. Done. And if we go to disk utility now, we should see a single drive. There we go. 2.12 terabyte. Okay, so thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to support this channel.